Hey guys, so today is May 14th, 2024, and we are headed out. Sorry for the late um, upload today. Um, we were actually helping Grandma Sederno <laughs> with her um, computer stuff earlier today, and um, not that I could have, I could have done it before we got on the phone with her, but it was. Um, it just kind of got us yeah, wrapped up in other stuff, so I apologize for that. Um, right now, we're going to go look for a place where we can put um, some paddle boards in, um, in our homeowners, um, in our association, our property area, to see um, if there's a better area. If we went and looked a while ago, um, maybe a week or a couple weeks ago, and ooh, I love that house. Um, but I had to go pee so bad, <laughs> so we had to stop um, driving around. We basically what we did is we went all throughout every neighborhood, um, looking um, on the map on every neighborhood that had water, um, waterfront just to see if there was any kind of place where we could park our car and then launch our paddle boards. But we were unsuccessful with that. So Hadid was looking at a map and he thinks that he has a good idea, right? Yeah, maybe. That's what we're about to find out. Yeah, so we shall find out. If not, we know some other areas around the lake. It just makes more sense that there should be something here um, in our neighborhood, like kind of like a beach area or something that we can hang out on and sunbathe and then, you know, go paddle boarding or kayaking or boating. Um, we have some friends that have some boats. We haven't been out with them or anything. We, because I've had a boat before, um, and honestly, it's better to have friends with a boat than to own the boat. <laughs> That's my opinion at my age. But if we had you guys here, that would be a completely different story. We would definitely, I would assume, we most likely have a boat. Um, but since it's just Hadid and I, I don't know if we need a boat. We can paddleboard. We can kayak. We can hang out with friends on boats. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's our age. That could be it too. But um, anyways, for today's um, memory, sorry the camera's going all over the place. I'm holding it like on the dash can or on the dashboard with my hand and so it's a little bit harder. But um, what was I going to say? The memory that I had for today. Oops. Stop sign. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Oh, is that what you call that? Puerto Rico? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Yes, I. Well, no, I'm not kidding. I've never heard of. Coca-Cola is red with white letters, and we're like, whenever you like, oh, that wasn't the stop sign. That was Coca-Cola. Oh, that's so funny. I've so, never called it that just before. Just to find yourself. For... I have never heard that. That's funny. I've called it other things when I do a rolling stop, but. I've never called it Coca-Cola. I'm gonna have to. Well, no, I don't. Now you know. I usually drive so slow nowadays since I don't have uh, anywhere to be at any specific time, which I miss that. I miss taking you guys to school. I miss picking you guys up. I miss um, taking you to events. I miss scheduling fun events for you guys um, and having to be somewhere at a particular time. I actually miss that, um, strangely enough, but God will redeem the time. I know that. There's no doubt about it. Um, so yeah, the memory that I have that I wanted to share that I remembered was Dutch Bros. Wow, this car is so bumpy. Um, Dutch Bros and how we would go to Dutch Bros. Well, the... A lot of the memories were, um, hold on one second, let me see if I can plan. 
Okay. I placed my phone differently um, because I couldn't just keep holding it in front of me on the dashboard and it just kept jumping around and so um, the memory that I had was Dutch Bros, especially when Wyatt started working at Dutch Bros. We started going and getting awesome drinks. In fact, I wasn't even a Dutch, none of us I think were Dutch Bro drinkers um, until Wyatt got a job there. And then once he got a job there, he was giving us recommendations on what drinks to drink. And I remember specifically for you, Warren and Claire, Claire, you drank something that was like, I want to say it was like pink or reddish in color. And Warren, yours was blue. I don't remember the names of them. Wyatt would probably remember. And then he always had, actually, I think Warren, you drank whatever it was that, that Wyatt advised you to drink, but I can't remember what that was. Um, but it, they both had extreme high amounts of sugar in them that I do remember. Like, it was basically all sugar and a little bit of food coloring and a little bit of flavor. Um, yeah, that's what I do remember. Um, I had to pause the video because I think we found an area where we can... Um, oh, I think that was the woman who we met. Yeah, at the park the other day. Um, yeah, I can't remember her name. Um, but I think we found the area where the waterfront park area is. Um, but we're going to drive back around and see if there's any parking. But um, anyway, so that was my memory with Dutch Bros. Um, today's Hebrew word um, is, actually, I don't know if Hadid knows this word. It's called Avad, um, which is worship and sorb. Have you heard it before? Okay, so I'm going to read this to you guys. When someone says the word worship, the picture most of us have is of people singing in church, maybe with their hands in the air. Does that sound about right with you guys? We mostly view worship as the first 20 minutes of a church service when everyone sings. In our modern world, worship is often reduced to a category of music. But there is more to it than that. One of the Hebrew words for worship in the word avad, which means to worship, but also means to serve and to work. In the story of the Exodus, Moses tells Pharaoh, I'm sorry, Moses tells Pharaoh that he needs to let God's people go so they can avad him. The word here gets translated as either worship or serve God. In another place, avad is used when God tells the people about Sabbath, saying, Six days you shall avad, so six days, I'm sorry, um, six days you shall avad, which is interesting, you shall worship and serve, but on the seventh day you shall rest. Exodus 34 verse 21. Here the word avad is translated in our Bibles as work. That's interesting. So let's keep reading. Consider the implication of that. God does not want us to worship him just one day of the week at church and then work the other six days of the week. He wants us to serve and worship the word avad him every day even as we work. Avad. Worship is far more than just 20 minutes at church. When you're at work, your office, your classroom at school, God says that you can serve and worship him <coughs> excuse me, um, every day. And everything that you can do can be an offering of worship to the God that you serve. How would your attitude and behavior towards school and your work change if you saw it as a time of worship? That's a good question to ask, right? It's interesting because we actually just watched a movie yesterday 
about Moses. Or no, it wasn't a movie. It was a series. Yeah, documentary, documentary interlaced with movie scenes, if you will. Yeah, and was talking about Moses and the story of Moses. It was cool. Yeah, it was like a movie. <coughs> kind of like those Bible movies we used to watch. But it was also documentary of different pastors and priests and all these different religions and rabbis. rabbis talking about Moses and the story of Moses. So, but I'm going to end this. Um, actually, I did want to end it with two affirmations um, that I had sent you uh, quite a few years ago for you to speak over yourself. One affirmation, so you can say this out loud. Say it once or say it numerous times throughout the day or throughout the night. I am enough because you guys are absolutely enough. You're absolutely enough. So look in the mirror and tell yourself. And and on my little paper that I had sent you, it says, look in the mirror and tell yourself this five times in a row. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. And I am enough. And then the other one, the confirmation, same thing five times. I am God's masterpiece. So you'll say that five times. I am God's masterpiece. I love you guys so much. I miss you. Father God, I just ask that you please bless Warren and Clara. Shine your light in your face upon them. Lord, we continue to ask to uproot anything in our own personal lives or in the lives of those who are close to us, Lord. To those in our family and those that we love. Um, not for condemnation, Father but for conviction so we can face them, so we can deal with them, Lord. And I just thank you in advance for what you're doing, Lord. I I pray just an extra scooping and an extra dose of love, forgiveness, and repentance into our hearts, into our thoughts, and into our soul, in our spirit, and our mind, Father God. And uh, we just thank you. We praise you because you are so worthy. Thank you, Father God, in your name. I love you guys so much. I miss you. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye.